okay and friends let us continue with the uh, the distribution uh, the next one is a normal distribution we are talking about the reliability probability distributions right okay the next one is normal distribution and this is most important continuous probability distribution if p and n are large then we use the normal distribution probability by normal distribution can be found from this equation and th these are all the repetitions what you have already studied okay in mathematics okay and the same thing is applied for the uh, you know distribution of electricity uh, so as to find out what is the probability of occurring the failures okay hmm. probability by normal distribution can be found as p of x is equal to r which is equal to 1 by sigma under root 2 pi e raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into r minus m divided by sigma square where mu which is equal to np and sigma is equal to under root npq this equation is also called as gaussian distribution the failure of device is extremely useful in reliability since a knowledge of mean that is mu which is equal to np is required to apply the distribution next is exponential distribution it is commonly used for components of components or systems which are exhibiting a constant failure rate due to its simplicity it has been widely used it is most readily applicable for distribution where failure rate is small and sample rate is large it is readily applicable for distributions where failure rate is small and sample rate is large it is a continuous probability distribution used to model the time we need to wait before a given event occurs next is variable distribution it is a continuous probability distribution which is used to model the useful life of products used to model useful life of products the variable distribution can also model hazard situations or functions hazard functions that are decreasing increasing or remain constant allowing it to describe any phase of an item's lifetime which this is very widely used variable distribution because it it is suitable to any of the situation okay in this method failure rate of a device depends on the measure of the slope of the distribution curve if slope is greater than 1 that indicates failure rate increases with time we are talking about the time for the slope less than 1 failure rate decreases with the time and for m is equal to 1 variable distribution becomes an exponential distribution okay i will explain these things now for m less than 1 failure rate decreases with time in terms of failure rate data that fit this distribution have a high number of initial failures we we, we know that initial failures are because of what you know last uh, video lecture you have, uh, i have explained this and uh, during uh, your uh, bathtub car initial failures are because of the either the defect in the manufacturing design or it may be a uh, improper fitting or uh, you know um, uh, maybe uh, some uh, uh, design failures okay like this so the the uh, it is 
have a high number of initial failures which decrease over time as the defective items are eliminated from the sample. These early failures are frequently called infant mortality because they occur in the early stage of the product's life. So this is M if M is less than 1. For M greater than 1, what is the same slope of a curve? For M greater than 1, failure rate increases. So the fa failure rate increases overall with the most rapid increase occurring initially. This shape is indicative of wear out failures at the last stage, if you remember. Last stage of that bathtub curve. It increases with time. There will be a rapid increase. Why it happens? Because of the, it is indicative of wear out failures. And the last one is for slope becomes equal to 1. Essentially, this means that over time, the failure rate remains consistent. Failure rate remains consistent. This shape of the variable distribution is appropriate for random failures. It is appropriate for random failures and multiple cause failures and can be used to model the useful life of products. It is useful, it is used to model the useful life of products. Okay, so this is uh, some of the uh, probability indices, okay, <clears throat> distributions. Okay, and uh, in the next lecture, we'll discuss about the power quality. Okay, okay. Uh, friends, uh, till now we have discussed about the reliability. What is the importance of reliability? You have already. You know, I think you have understood about the reliability, importance of reliability. In, a, in association or you can say uh, along with uh, reliability, the quality of the power also plays a very, very important role. So the power quality, it refers to the maintenance of voltage waveform, undistorted, balanced, at rated frequency and at rated voltage that is a power quality the most common types of power quality problems are voltage dip voltage swell harmonic distortion voltage fluctuations noise and voltage unbalance okay so in the next class i will be discussing about the power quality and various types of power quality problems and also I will be discussing about limitations of distribution system. Okay.